then they start thinking about braking but you see this is way too fast on this video i'm going to show you how to turn left and right properly let's get into it so i'm going to show you the wrong way of doing this right turn which is what a lot of learners do they don't go into the box properly or they sometimes they'll miss the box until it's late and uh they'll do it wrong so i'm going to show you the wrong way of doing this so we're going to be turning right so center mirror right mirror around three houses away i'll signal right around here so there's a box there for us to wait in what a lot of learners will do is they'll wait until they get here and then they'll try to go into the box but you see if we were to do it like this we'll be sticking out yeah the car will be sticking out of the of the lane of the box and anybody behind us would have to wait they can't just go past us because we, we're the back of the car is in the way so to avoid that go into the box nice and early and i'll show you what i mean so this is the correct way to, turn, to use that box for the right turn. So I'm going to check my center mirror, right mirror, signal right around here. And then I'm going to slow down. And then maybe even going to gear one actually. Going to gear one, check my mirror, I'm going to the box like I'm parking in there. So that if I had to stop, I'll be now in the box nice and straight. There's nothing, um, I'm not blocking anybody from that side over there. And then anything that's coming around here now can go, can go past me nicely. I'm not sticking out into their lane. I'm not sticking out into this lane. Once that's clear, I can then make my turn. At the end of this road, I'm going to turn right. Now, this time we've got a giveaway sign and it's a crossroads and I can't see the left or the right properly. So I'm just going to check my center mirror and which adjust it a little bit. Check my center, check my right, signal right. And at the moment I'm in the middle, but now I'm going to move over to my side of the road and I want to be along this center line. I don't want to be too far left or too far over the line. I'm just on the center line. And I can tell I'm in a good position. This center line here is in the corner of my windscreen. That's how I know I'm in a good position. So then I can just creep forward. And because I can't see properly, I'll go really slowly, maybe even stop, have a little listen, have a little look, and then now check the side as well, and then bring the clutch up smoothly and make my turn. Yeah, so in, on junctions where you can't see properly and you have to give way, don't assume it's gonna be safe and just come out. Sometimes you have to stop. Just like this one here, I'm going to the left, I'm going to check my center, left mirror, signal left, and then I'm going to position myself towards the left, and, and again, I can't really see properly, so I'll go into first gear. Once I check both sides, I can come out. Even though I'm only turning left, I still want to be sure that both sides are, are safe. And on this road, it's quite wide, so people coming this way, we should be driving on the left, on their side, but you never know, Some, someone might be driving on the wrong side, there could be a cyclist there, so don't look only one side and come out. Make sure you look both directions before coming out. And then turning left into this side road. Now a lot of people struggle to know when to turn. So I'm going to check my center mirror, left mirror, I'll signal left. And you want to turn just when this curb here disappears on my windscreen. I'm going to do a turn and like now it's disappeared. I'll do one turn towards the left and then straighten up again. So that way I'm not going too far forward and I'm also not turning so early that will clip the curb so wait until the curb disappears in your windscreen on the corner there and then make the turn so just like this one mirror mirror signal and some of them are really narrow so that this one's quite tight so i'm going to go into first gear for this and then same thing again once it disappears in my corner there i'll turn left and then um, using a no gas here so i'm going to go really slowly just bring the clutch up so that the car moves just in gear one so like here if i don't press anything now i'm not pressing anything on the pedals see the car still moves at this sort of pace and this was a nice pace for the car to move around the corner in and um, because it was really narrow and there's a car coming from the other side as well if i want to go even slower than that let's say there's another vehicle or the junction is really is really tight then i can use my clutch control to go even slower and i'll show you what i mean so like here i'm turning left bringing my speed right down i can't see properly i'm over the line right now because this part car is here i don't want to be too close to them then once i get to this side once I, go, once I go past the car, I can go to my side a bit more, check the right, check the left as well, and it's nice and clear. Then I can carry on, bringing my clutch up smoothly, adding a bit of gas. So I was telling you about going really slow for like a left turn. So let's say I'm turning left here. Normally I wouldn't want to go slow, but I'm just going to show you for an example what to do if you want to go extra slow. So I'm just going to go put my clutch down a little bit. Yeah, and then use my brake to control my speed. So you see now I can go really slow. Let's say there's something going on here. I can go really slow into the turn. And then once I'm happy that it's uh, all cleared up and it's safe, I can then bring my clutch up a bit, a bit more smoothly, adding some gas and then going faster. 
yeah so I'll do I would do that if I was having to go super slow if uh, if it's the normal turn and there's nothing around I can just do that with my clutch up and make the turn and some, some sometimes even in second gear as well but if it's really narrow and tight then first gear is going to be the best so here I'm going to be turning right at this crossroads so mirror mirror signal right there is a motorbike behind me I'm going to keep an eye on him and then clutch down around here just before I reach the junction get into first gear because I can't do this in second check both sides there is a bus coming from the side over there and I'm going to wait for him yeah if I'm not sure how fast he's coming down the road it's better to be safe and wait until he's gone so now that I can see there's nothing coming up I still check though because something I could have missed something there and checking this side as well because it's a crossroad and then turning right into here mirror mirror signal right position myself along the center line here get into first already in first and then now that I know it's safe I'll come out and turn yeah and you notice my hand as well I'm turning freestyle I'm not worrying about doing push and pull I'm doing it how I want and that way it's a lot smoother for me and it's a lot more controlled the main thing is that the car is controlled it goes where you want it to go to don't worry too much about how it's done just as long as the car is controlled properly another mistake a lot of learners do is they approach the junction way too fast or brake way too late so let's say I'm turning right here they won't even touch the brake they'll just keep going and then once they get around here then they start thinking about braking but you see this is way too fast then I'm gonna have to slam my brake or go into the road and this is gonna scare the people that are already in the road it's not a nice way to drive so to avoid that you want to brake nice and early and bring your speed down so that by the time you get here you're already going slow almost to a stop yeah checking both sides and then now I can move out so when you're turning right to avoid going too far forward or turning too early what you want to do is use this mirror as a reference point so I'm gonna stop just to show you so before turning you'd wait until this mirror is in line with that center line over there so right now I'm just stopping just to show you but if you're driving without having to wait for anybody coming from down the road you'll just wait until that mirror is in line with this line and then you make your turn or even if you're waiting for oncoming cars you'd stop in the position that the same position again so you stop here where the line is in line with your mirror but when once the car is gone check your mirror again and then make your turn so you can use that reference point while you're moving or when you're stopping as well for any oncoming vehicles and when it comes to giving way or knowing who to give way to the simplest way is to think of it in two ways firstly do you have firstly do you have any giveaway lines in front of you if the answer is yes then you have to give way so like right now we've got a giveaway sign there a giveaway triangle and the giveaway line so these double lines on the floor they tell us that we need to give way to people on the road that we're trying to join so like this road here so now make sure that side is safe as well then I can carry on now I can move out because there's nothing coming from either side I can move on and then the next way you can tell whether you are priority or not is are you crossing somebody's lane to get to where you're going so if I wanted to turn into this road here if anyone's coming down the road they would have priority because that's their lane yeah but if I'm turning into this left into this lane here into the left I don't have to cross anybody's lane so let me signal so this person here has to wait for me because I'm already in the lane that I need to be in to turn left I don't need to cross his lane to get to where I'm going so therefore I have priority so that's the simplest way to think of it firstly do you have giveaway lines if the answer is no then you carry on if the answer is yes then you should make sure you slow down enough to check and then secondly if you're turning are you crossing anybody's lane if the answer is no then you can go first if you have to cross their lane you need to let them go past first before you turn and I'll show you what I mean so just like here coming up to this line I've got the giveaway lines in front of me there and then that means these cars that are on this road have priority so that motorbike coming down has priority as well but he's turning so then I can make my move while checking both sides into second once I've turned because it's nice and clear I'm going to take the next right so I'm going to check my mirror and signal and this person coming down the road has priority because they're going past me this is their lane so therefore they have priority once they've gone past I can then check my mirror and turn the other vehicle is far away I can make my move so if the car or if the road user that's coming towards you is far enough away and you think you can make the turn without affecting them 
then you can sh then you can make the turn but if they're quite close or if they're going fast and you think they're going to be quite close to you then you just wait for them to go past and then make the turn because remember if it's their lane that you need to cross they will have priority so this one is very narrow i'm going to go into first for this one and then go really slowly because straight away i'm in a meeting situation there's cars parked on both sides only one car can fit through here so it doesn't make sense to go in here fast so i'll go really slowly and then once it's clearer i can go into second i'm going to turn left to the end so mirror mirror signal left and then get into first gear as i approach the junction because it's a good way here then now that i know it's safe i can come out smoothly so this person anyone coming from there has to give me way because they've got the giveaway lines in front of them so i don't need to worry about that too much because the giveaway lines are not in front of my car they were on the other side but this time the giveaway lines are in front of my car so i'm the one that has to give way checking both sides looking good keep checking and i could come out 